All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling is takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight, but there aren't that many guys who are gonna wanna stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 136 pounds. Fighting out of Portland, Oregon, Big. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your floor. a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? That punch, don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Slips. Early round one here, big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jab. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's gonna have to take something on the way inside. Attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. 
Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Way to hide that leg kick. A sneaky head kick. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Right hook attempt, that's a miss. Get under three minutes now to go in the round. Kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick, he did not recognize it. was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Lee going for the body, missed with that kick. Oh, and he connects there, pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Hands high, hands high. Just unable to quite find that range. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Under two minutes in round one. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Back and forth we go. Look at the turtles in that kick. Oh, good kicks. Superman punch now. Nice body kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. Real quick leg kick. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Nice placement there on the left hook counter. 20 seconds left. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. All right, let us get you some replays now from that previous round, DC. And certainly, you got to think some body kicks are going to find their way into this highlight. Yeah, he's throwing these body kicks, and he's throwing with all of his force. He is driving his shin into the rib of his opponent. If his opponent does not block these, if he does not catch these kicks, his night is going to end very soon. Second round underway. Big kick land. Lands the right hand. And there comes the separation now. Nice straight punch. That was a thudding leg kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. 
I believe the jab has been working so well that he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. He's hurt. I want you to finish him now. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Get him off balance. Right hand upstairs. Combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. There. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, you heard him bad with the jab. Right hand upstairs. No problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. And both guys really throwing with authority. Great punch. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh, straight punch lands flush on the counter. Nice deception with his footwork. And again, we're a broken record when it comes to the reach advantage. Certainly helped him out there. Oh, huge block. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. What a punch. Very tricky when you throw that body. Body kick now by Lee. His hands are down. High kick, high kick. Strong defense there to block the shot. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, beautiful counter jab upstairs for him there. He's got the reach advantage, and that certainly helped him in that exchange. Nice punch lands over the top. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Oh, head kick blocked by Lee. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, nice. Nice. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, big punch lands. Slips that left hand. He has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. He gets caught with that punch. Huge block there. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead, and I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just goes, so many strikes, but this man has taken it to the octagon. Look at 
to break all the punch records before the night is over. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Watch over the top. Went for the inside leg kick. Ah, ooh, what a head kick. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Ooh, what a punch. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Beautiful body. Oh, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the top. Right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hitting bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it and snap. Big punch land. Gets that foot to the target. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, slips to avoid the right. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Lands with a right hand. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Liv Liver kick, take those kicks, is gonna shut your body off. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down there. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Final seconds here. Ooh, big shot, man. All right, 
right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. Block that kick to the body. Nice. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Big kick. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Nice head kick. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Oh, he's unable to find the target with that uppercut. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that off. Landed by this man. All right, so a knockdown for him in the previous round, and you can just see by his body language how confident he is in the striking realm in this matchup. And you can see his confidence in his posture, but also you can see the effect the knockdown had on his opponent by the way he is approaching this round. Beautiful leg kick throw. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. It's just out of range with the big right hand. absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite bruise starting to form on that right side. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. It's such a... Good punch. Oh, that's a good right hand. Punch his block. Head kick lands. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside legs. Trying to kick the leg out. All right, it's time to start using Beautiful punch. Lee gets absolutely punished by that head kick. 
visibly limping here. Fifteen seconds. Oh, a huge block there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this round. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Beautiful kick. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Good stick. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. See, you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness. He must be on his feet right now. Nice kick. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, his way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that thing. Whoa! Shake that thing. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Beautiful body kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Nice shot to the body there. And he caught the kick. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. Well, he puts his opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was King Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. All right, into full guard here, DC. I know you don't like hanging out here for too long. No, you don't want to stay there. Too much of a submission threat, you got to pass. Big kick land. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh! oh no. What is asleep? Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Oh, that right hand is on point. Less than a minute now to go in the round. Uh, 
Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on. Beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some real good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. Watch a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. What a fight! decision is in it resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50-45. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performer. A great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that from start to finish.